Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or to my channel, I'm Lexis, and in today's video I filmed some recipes that I ate this week, and I just decided to share it with you guys. So yeah, it's not really a what I eat in a day video. These recipes I ate like, some on Monday, some on Wednesday. It's not that many, it's just three recipes that I like a lot because my mom just got an air fryer, so I wanted to try some recipes in there. So I made some tofu and some potatoes with my tofu scramble. I'm also actually have these in the oven right now. I love Gardein products. I just love their meat substitutes because they taste exactly like meat in my opinion. The texture, everything, spot on. So I'm a fan of the regular chicken tenders and I saw these at Target and they were on sale. So I'm gonna give these a try. It's the Nashville Hot Chicken Tenders. So it's the same shape as the regular one, but it has that spicy kick. Here they are, I'm about to put them in the oven. They smell good. <clears throat> has a little spice to it. I tasted one of the crumbs. Okay, so it is finished. I made some honey mustard real quick with some Dijon mustard, some mayonnaise, and some agave. A little pinch of cayenne. Mmm. Delicious. I'll put a little rice vinegar in that too. And I got these fries from Kroger's. Just regular seasoned fries. Delicious. I love these fries. You don't have to add anything to it. Okay, but let's get to the Nashville chicken review. This is a Nashville chicken. Gardein. <clears throat> it has the spice. My tongue is tingling. This is good. This is the inside. It's the breading. They did a good job with that. Really. It is spicy. I love spicy foods, but if you don't, I wouldn't get this. It's not super spicy. It's like a comfortable level of spiciness. But you do feel the heat. Mmm. It is like, um, <clears throat> kind of juicy, like how a Nashville chicken would be. This would be really good on a sandwich. If you wanted that, you know, Tennessee hot chicken sandwich with the hot sauce and stuff. It's really good with honey mustard, too. Ooh. You start to feel the heat after a few bites. If you like hot sauce on chicken, this needs no hot sauce on it because it's super spicy. Okay. Nashville hot chicken. Juicy plant-based chicken breaded with a kick of spice. It has 13 grams of protein. I know a lot of people that aren't vegan are very big on that. They wonder where you know, vegans get their protein from. <clears throat> Not saying this is the best source, but in vegan meat products, there is protein as well. But yeah, this is one of the recipes that I ate. And off to the next one. So I had made some sweet and sour tofu in the air fryer and it came out delicious. For the tofu, I just cut it into squares and I seasoned it with some black pepper, garlic powder, and some of the sweet and sour sauce that I made, which I'm going to show you. And here I'm just adding it into an air fryer. For the sweet and sour sauce, I'm adding a half cup of sugar, one fourth cup of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, One fourth cup of ketchup, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and I also added one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. 
and one tablespoon of orange juice. You can also use pineapple juice. Once it came to a simmer, I added two tablespoons of ice cold water and two tablespoons of cornstarch. And I just let that cook on low heat until it thickened. I made some quick tofu scramble and some hash browns in the air fryer and it came out really really good. For the potatoes I chopped up some yellow potatoes and sweet potatoes and I'm just adding some garlic powder, some onion powder, some black pepper, seasoned salt and a pinch of cayenne. I also added just a little bit of oil. For the tofu scramble, I'm just sauteing some yellow onion and green pepper. So once the peppers and onions are done cooking, I scrambled in one block of extra firm tofu and I'm adding some garlic powder, some black pepper, some nutritional yeast, a little bit of turmeric for color. And once it's done, I mix it all up, turn the flame off and add some black salt for an eggy flavor. That is it for today's video. These are some of the recipes that I eat as a vegan. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time.